Hey everyone, Hidden Abilities here, and welcome to the um, <laughs> the JavaScript tutorial on how to hide and show content. Um, okay, hiding and showing content is a lot easier than it looks. Uh, normally, you know, you would make a JavaScript and you, you know you would you would link to it, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm actually just going to do the JavaScript here uh, within the actual document, which it's not because the reason is is because it's not really you know that much of well, it's not really that big a deal. It's not crazy JavaScript related, so it's a lot. E it's easy to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Um, in my style.css, you can see here's the uh, actual page. Nothing's on it. Oh, KDE wallet. All right. So anyway, yeah, nothing's on it. All right. Well, anyway, um, over here in the we have two. Over here in the CSS, we have two IDs. The number sign represents an ID. We have normal and we have hidden normal we have display inline and uh, hidden we have display none both have a black border um, positions are relative it doesn't really matter about that for some reason width and height does not work I couldn't figure I couldn't figure that out but uh normally it, it always works for me you know but uh it, it just decided it, I done something wrong I don't know but uh, I'm not gonna worry about the width and height so let's go ahead and get started the IV ID equals normal and Let's add some content. This is a normal div. It's display. Wait. Display is not hidden. Well, obviously. Uh, now let's add a couple links. Link one. Wait. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do right there. That's how I'm gonna make links. I'm just gonna have them all separate. Wait. This is just for testing and stuff. I could just use the little uh, the paragraph thing, but again, you know, this is quite unprofessional. It's not really planned or anything, but it gets the job done. Now we're gonna do another href thing, number sign, but this time on click equals in between big quotes. Um, document dot get element, this is case sensitive, by id um, normal in, little, in between little mini quotes there dot style dot display equals, again many quotes, none and now I'm going to go ahead and line break to match it up with this document dot get element by id hidden dot style dot display equals inline. You don't have to do it the exact way I did, but it just makes it uh, look a little more neater. Okay. Hide. Hide this and show other. DIV. Oops, typos. Hide this DIV and show other DIV. And end that off. Well, no. And the in the link. <laughs> okay. Um, now end off the div. Hmm, I think I should have it back here actually. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works really quick, because I'm not really sure if it's going to work with all the spacing and line breaking. Oh. Okay. Yep, it works. But why is it like that? It should be... Okay, uh, forget the border then. Now I know what I did wrong. Okay. Let's see how this looks. I don't know why I did all the text though. Probably some kind of a bug. I gotta figure that out. I don't understand that one. But it's alright. Anyways, as you can see, you have your links. And then you click it, and it hides. So now we want to make the hidden one. So... I'm gonna copy all that. Go about a couple lines down. Um, dang it! Sorry, I'm, I was typing without. I was trying to hit. I don't know. Div id equals uh, hidden. I was trying to hit the uh, shift and uh, the less than greater or whatever it is, and uh, it didn't work out too well. I hit the M, so I tried to hit delete, and then I ended up hitting all the other buttons up top. I'm not used to this keyboard. It's a well, relatively new. So anyway, uh, okay. 
is hidden. Wait, not anymore. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and change these. Change the first none to end line, and change the end line to none. Original. Save that, and let's try this out. And there it goes. That's how you show and hide the IVs. You can also use this method to change your text. Okay, now I am actually going to make a size. So here's how you do that. Dot size for the class size, width 640, height 480, border solid one pixel uh, black. Okay, save that. I'm just going to see if this works because that is kind of bugging me. <laughs> class equals size. I was kind of wondering I forgot what, what I named it just now okay oh, there we go and see if for some reason it selects all the text as the border like um, honestly I don't understand this hang on let's see if it does it in Firefox because it's not making much sense to me it does okay I have to figure this out um, I apologize for this little inconvenient thing but I honestly haven't the slightest clue on what's going on. Maybe we have to put class before the ID? I honestly would not know. No. It, it wants to borderize the text instead of... Well, never mind that. Wow. Um, that's really highly un, like, unsatisfying, but that's okay. <laughs> Usually, I don't know, I've never had a problem with this before. But anyways, uh, that this concludes the um, hiding and showing a DIV, and I hope you enjoyed, and hope you found it useful, and see you later.